Hey y'all, let's take this IKEA shelf and turn it into a heat press table. So starting off, I'm gonna mark out with some tape where I want to cut it, and then I'll start to disassemble. And this was pretty easy um, to put together. It's just dowels and screws. So here you'll see me marking where I wanna cut on the sides. And I have some uh, painter's tape on there just so that I can put a line on and I'm not marking up the furniture. I'm going to flip it over and I'm going to get my little DIY track saw and cut this. So there I am cutting it. And then this little saw, it actually didn't go all the way through. So just with a pool saw, I finished off the cuts. And the same thing went on the other side. There I noticed I needed to put a few more screws on the side there because it's, you know, if you guys can see the, uh, the, the edge there on the bottom, uh, it's just that uh, super cheap Ikea furniture where it's uh, MDF laminated with uh, looks like cardboard ridges to, to fill in the middle so that it doesn't collapse. So there I am cutting the other side and then with the pool saw just finishing it off and then taking out the dowels. These dowels are quarter inch dowels. They look like they're about, I'd say like two inches. So those are going to be good for some other projects that I use maybe in the future. So I'll just save the dowels. Here I'm just using pliers and took that dowel out. And making sure that my cuts are um, flush, I'm gonna go ahead and um, sand it to where it uh, I can put the top on here. And you can see those little ridges like I was mentioning about the IKEA furniture, super cheap furniture. And this uh, shelving unit, we just didn't wanna throw it away. We wanted to maybe make something out of it. So my wife was like, maybe we should make a heat press table. And so that's what I'm doing here. So. Right here what I'm doing is I'm just taking the, the, the pieces that I had cut off the sides and I'm just checking to see is that going to work for me to make a top out of and it does and so I'm just figuring out okay how am I going to join this so what I did is I just went ahead and uh, figured I'd use some pocket holes and I do have a Craig Foreman that can do pocket holes but you know when it's just a couple pocket holes it's just easier to just get my old Harbor Freight pocket hole machine and um, I just did four pocket holes on this so you guys can kind of see there. I don't have any dust collection on there. I just got the, I, I'll get the vacuum and clean out the dust. Nothing fancy, but uh, here in a second, you're going to see me pan over. And then uh, there, I'm just checking to see to make sure uh, what size of uh, screw that I want to use for this. And then also using some painter's tape, I'm using kind of like a depth stop to make sure that I don't go too far into the... Uh, into the material as I'm pre-drilling and then just using the inch and a half pocket hole screws or Craig screws that's uh, joined together now and then I'm trimming it up just you know it was a pretty rough cut so I wanted to make sure that the uh, the finished top actually looks nice on the edges so here what I'm gonna do is I have some um, quarter inch MDF material that are you know I have a whole bunch of this just hanging out here in the shop and so I'm gonna be um, making some shelves for this unit and so my wife will order a lot of uh, heat transfer uh, decals and things like that so um, they're all like just really thin sheets of, of uh, it looks like kind of like wax paper that the uh, that the heat transfers are on and so I wanted to just make sure that my wife can have a way to uh, store these and so here what I'm doing is you'll see here in a second I'm actually making the shelves for this and then in order to divide the shelves, when I started taking apart the unit, I noticed that I couldn't put any dados in there so that I could slide these shelves in. So these little one inch strips here that I'm cutting um, are gonna be what's gonna be, uh, instead of using dados, I'm just basically gonna be making my own slots so that the shelves can rest in. So here you'll see me uh, attaching the top here in a second. I'm gonna kinda, I start this is where I start to figure oh wait a minute you make sure make sure you put the top on it It'd just be a lot easier to access that versus when you start putting in those little shelves down on the bottom so here I'm just measuring making sure that we're equal distance on the outer lip of this and then we'll put some screws on the outside I want to make sure that I'm putting this into the particle board if you can see there on the edges there where the particle board is uh, the frame of this uh, the side here and now I'm just going to go ahead and get my pin nail loaded up and these are just going to be half inch pin nails but the strength is actually going to come from the glue on these little strips they're one inch in width and then now what I'm doing is I'm just putting two strips on each side and then I'll put a shelf 
and you can kind of see as I'm going up the uh, up the t up to the top here so we'll just keep doing that and the reason I did this is uh, I don't know if I mentioned that in, in a little bit ago but the reason I did this instead of trying to put a dado on the side here is because this IKEA furniture it uh, it only had like an, a quarter inch wall so that uh, I couldn't you know really put any type of um, I couldn't hit that with a router bit so this is why you see me using uh, this method versus the other method with the uh, little slots with the router so we're almost done on this side and then I'm going to uh, do the left side here also and my wife came in and just checking the progress and I'm letting her know like you can adjust these shelves and kind of put them wherever you want you can take shelves out if you need to uh, just making it fully customizable for her um, to be able to put all of her heat transfers in here and so we'll just go ahead and finish up this other side and I'd like to take the moment if you can um, hit the follow button even the like we sure appreciate that we're uh, all over the place we're on TikTok. we're on all the uh, channels that you can have uh, material on so uh, this is uh, my longer video um, I've kind of gotten away from that uh, in the past and so I've noticed a lot of people have really responded well to our TikTok videos with narration so I'm like well you know let me make a little bit longer descriptive video sh sharing a little bit more about the process of what I do versus just the one minute you know reel or a TikTok or a short so uh, I, I kind of like that. I kind of like hearing the maker, uh, what they, what, how they did it, what they did. Right there, if you saw me, I just measured. I'm trying to get to the middle of, the, uh, of this little cubby here. Because uh, my wife's going to be putting t-shirts in that slot here. So I was like, uh, let me at least go halfway here so that if she wants to put a shelf here, she can. If she doesn't want it there, she can take the shelf out. So it's, like I said, it's fully customizable, those little slots up on top she can move those or take them out whatever she wants to do and down on the bottom I just wanted to give her an extra little storage spot so uh, the same thing that I'm doing on the bottom I did on the top is just putting two little strips holding those shelves in and there you kind of see me organizing making sure that we have even strips on each side so that if she wants to she can she can use all of them or 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 not so there we go I'm just making sure all the all the uh, little shelves fit in there perfectly and they do and then we're just going to do some glamour shots of this thing here shortly and then you'll see my wife how she's going to use it you'll see her uh in our in our uh, office area so there it is right there y'all thanks for watching bye